Hey, well, it's a nice day in February, and I thought I'd uh, do a little video here of my 75, 76 uh, Chevy three-quarter ton dump truck. It's got a hydraulic dump on the back. She's an old gal, but she uh, comes in handy when I need to uh, clean up and dump out the yard. But anyway, uh, I've been pinching off the cores on this radiator for a while, and she's finally the point uh, last time I drove her that she uh, gave up the ghost and finally I'm going to have to go ahead and replace the radar. I ordered one on eBay. Hopefully it'll fit. If not, I'll, I'll have to do some mods on it and make it fit. It was fairly reasonable. I think about 80 bucks. Of course, it's a plastic tank and this old one's a, uh, oh, I guess it's aluminum and brass or whatever. But uh, anyway, I, I drive it five or six times a year, so I figure that radar will do just fine. But uh Anyway, yeah, it, it, it busted a seam somewhere and it leaked out, so it's like 80 degrees. First thing I'm going to do is take these uh, shroud bolts, shroud bolts out. Hopefully you're catching this. And it's got kind of a wide angle on that GoPro, so. And obviously the first thing is we need to get this shroud off of here and see what all we're going to need to do to get it pulled. I think there's just two, two uh, screws on the top here. I don't know if I have to completely pull the shroud or just get it to where I can set it back so that I can get the radiator slid out. I did go ahead and order some new hoses for it. Hoses are as old as the radiator. I figured it needed both. Let's see if this is cool. That works perfect. Okay. This top man out. If you can see that good or not, looks like I can adjust a little bit better there. You got some bolts here. Right here it looks like I've got two, three, four bolts that hold this top bracket right here. Which holds the top of the radar. This is wiring harness is kind of get it out of the way. Oh, those look like half inch I'm guessing and I'm guessing right so we'll go ahead and get the half inch out here hopefully they're not rusted in or nothing it's, uh, I almost spoke too soon that was tight I got her though okay four bolts out now then. So this is just the top housing of the, the holes the radiator in. Go ahead and disconnect the radiator hose at the radiator. I don't see that or not. horn it doesn't even work. I need to get that out of here. Uh, which way it's gonna be? I think I'm gonna go for the upper or where it connects to the water pump right there. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay let's see here we can get the Loosened up here. Now that I can just get, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, that was going to be a pain. You know, it looks like I might just need to crawl underneath it and wiggle it. Let's see here. Put it there. I'll crawl underneath there and see if I can get it that way. Okay. 
But it should give me. Well, let me get the. That's just a radiator overflow. And we should now have a radiator out. There you go. Cameras moving around a bunch. Hate these damn hood hinges they put on those. You can see where I had to weld those bars here because it's bent it so many times because the hinges get all stiff. And then when you a big old long hood, when you go to close it, it bends it. But anyway, let's uh, get the new radiator right and see if it fits. Like it's gonna fit. I don't have automatic transmission, it's a little bit different, but height and width and everything. It's made a little bit different on top. And it looks like it's a three core, and I got a two core, but the way this one leaked, I'll take the two core over the leaky ass three core tank wise is the same Let's see how she drops in there see you got these little rubber mounts here and here it do look promising smaller than what was on there that could be a problem maybe not they might be the same size it definitely uh, fits in a just like it should sits down over here yeah that's interesting it's gonna work though as long as those uh Radiator hoses fit, I'll be fine. I wouldn't say it's a perfect fit, but it's close. And I found this one at a bargain rate of, like, like I said, $80. And on 
eBay was saying that there was another for 147 that was in this pipe because it was a three core, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. This truck's never run warm. It doesn't have a thermostat in it, I don't think. And I'm not planning on pulling anything with it. So. And I guarantee it flows 10 times better than a little junker that was in there. So we'll roll with it. And the uh, radar's in, then it's just hooking up the hoses. Not really that bad of a job, folks. It's 85 degrees in the middle of February. I'm sitting there sweating. Ain't that weird. Okay. Let's see, will that top hose fit right? Yes. So if the top hose fits right, more than likely I'll be good on the bottom one too. I've got a new hose, like I said, so I'm not going to put that up yet. But get the shroud back on. Clips there. There it goes. There she goes. Sweet. Hose fits there. Put the new hose on there. And then uh, get that right. Oops, I'll leave my cap. yet because I haven't put any fluid in yet as long as that bottom hose fits which I think it's gonna that is one radiator done other than hoses and I'll come back and do the video on me getting the hoses in there down at the house I have to go hunt them down and... okay now we're gonna install the radiator hoses up. I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna go easy first on the top this is a bought these off of eBay um, you gotta love eBay actually between the radiator and I got two factory hoses which it didn't have factory hoses it had aftermarket these are you know factory factory cut or factory molded so they should fit on really nice I pre install the clamp loosely on here and then slide her on that way Nice fit right there. Okay, let me go ahead. Oh, we didn't want to hardly come out of there. Okay, I gotta get the clamp off the O right here. Of 
crank her down. And you want to make sure the hose is all the way on there. underneath there so I don't get caught on it later but you can kind of see you want it about a quarter inch away from the, from the hose And there we go. Run the hose clamp tighten. Tighten this one. And you want them fairly tight. Don't over tighten them, but they won't come in off either. Okay. That is one type of your hose down. tricky I like that it's got this shield here to keep it from rubbing actually I think that clamp will be easier if I position it that way and let me see if I can Off of there, I have to so just round the pump. Okay. Hmm. Actually, just see we give it this the ground wire. You definitely want to position your. to where they're easy to get to once you get the hose on there. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a trip underneath the get that. Yep. Yeah, let me get underneath there and slide that on there. And then I'll slide it on the radiator, tighten two more clamps and guess what? We'll have a radiator installed. Hoses and all. I got it a little too tight, didn't it?
Shoot this like a glove. good get that socket I got this one last let's clamp here to tighten and loosen a little bit first get it over get it about right there tighten it down and we are done okay let's get this We are now done with the radiator install. Yay. Not bad, huh? There's man freeze in it. Should be the last of it. Put one gallon in and then all of this is pure this is concentrate so I'll put one gallon in and then I'll top it off with with water as you see it's concentrate so typically uh, if you read the back 50 50 is minus 34 degrees yeah I think that would be enough so we'll top it off with a uh, water it won't take more than two gallons I guarantee you Probably about another half gallon actually. Okay, that is one radiator install. Well, I started her up, check her out, and I got a stuck float valve now. It's old quarter jet, so I guess my next project will be uh, taking that off and uh, unsticking that float valve. I'll probably buy a carb kit for it. It's like everything else, and it's pretty old. And uh, it probably just needs a good cleaning, and obviously, I know the float bowl could be uh, saturated and it's not lifting. It could be a bunch of things, but I'll, uh, next project will be uh, rebuilding the quarter jet.